Chapter 5. Crazy Tea Party Trial. So I should mention that on the first couple recordings of this, I tried to get the full screen resolution to fit properly in the border. Uh, that didn't go too well, and apparently there are some icons that appear on the side of the screen with the black bars. So you're seeing the actual resolution now. Anyhow. Ellis wins! Okay, now remove Tui's shackles. Produce the key. Ugh, the key. It's gone. This again? What's going on? Answer me. I am not the queen. The queen of Ningyokyo is someone else. Who is it? It's Aiki. The queen is at the top of that castle over there. Okay, so we need to kill Aiki. And don't even tell me there's gonna be another queen after that. There won't be. Aiki is the true queen. Alice and Tui head off toward the castle. Hey, Aiki, come on out. Hello, intruders. Here for the tea party. I appreciate your bravery. It's a fugitive rabbit with you. Birds of a feather, after all. I've told Alice all about your evil doing. I heard you've been trapping the souls of the people of Gensokyo inside dolls. Release their binds and free their souls from the dolls. Dolls are not to be controlled. That's why I will become the queen. Such a vivid imagination. Is that your request? Alright then. Too much playing has made you go a bit funny. Helping that felon rabbit is a serious crime. Lose, and it's off with your head. Round one. Don't know what route we're gonna go. Start with Machuli, why not? Actually, I wonder. Uh, no, you cannot. Fortunately, we can't activate our ability once we skip our turn. That's fine, though. Are those both yokais? Anything the puppet's gonna win so far. Uh oh, but it's not strong enough to take out Yukari. Ow. If we can at least start with two magicians, it'll be a really strong start. Mine. Yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna swipe that. Now, something about this game I notice is that the AI oftentimes never uses their abilities. Aiki's ability, if I can remember correctly, is supposed to basically force all other players to skip their turn. And it also causes the clock to freeze so you can't accumulate gold. But be because the AI is lackluster, we don't need to worry about it. Alice and Patrulli are friends because they're both mages. Well, technically, Alice is not a mage. The only actual competition is to defeat Aiki. We'd get another one, that'd be great. Hope I use the ability right. That's the other thing that's kind of confusing about the ability. I'm not sure if you use it before you select a doll or after. Or if it's based on the last chosen one that you pick. Eh, yeah, looks like that's the case. Oh great, we got another allies. We can get a level 3 on turn 3. What power can you stand against two Alice's? 
Meet your end, Ike. Look at that power, it's only turn two. Almost immediately over. Let's see if I'm getting another Alice. Fortunately not, we'll grab a patchouli. Someone can still swipe it. Mages galore. Well, now obviously, if we go up against Psyche, it's immediately over. I don't think some yokai and two kami is gonna cut it though. Oh wait, only one of those is a yokai. Kami is extremely strong. The ability to steal battle points from your opponent after loss. But doing a comparison right now, it still doesn't stand a chance. We need more mages. Because why not? I should see about. I can either try to go after Vampire or Lunarian for secondary. Since there's only two mage types in the game. And they're just going to become increasingly stronger. I think this actually made us a little weaker though. Mm, maybe not. Well now Alice is apparently the strongest doll mage in the world. We just need one showdown with Ike. Claim victory. Get another patchouli. One level three skill randomly activated. Not sure if this is gonna make them better or worse. Quality is a quality of its own. But now I fear we've weakened ourselves. Uh oh. Well, first we gotta go past the army. We weakened ourselves. Ike won that one. Well, let's see if we can go for some Lenarians. I run. Get as much as we can. Ryson. Get Romalia too, why not? You know, all the support we can get. Lenarian would trigger the first one, which will help for battle buffs. And Romalia... Romalia is... a little... overpowered. If you get Romalia maxed out, essentially any damage that you take... adds up to her overall damage output. 25% is on a lot though to start. So if you take like 500 damage, then you basically just, she ends up getting like 150, 200 damage. I fear Ike's starting to catch up with the damage. Ryson, Romalia. Not seeing a Kaguya anywhere, unfortunately. Now 
Now 50% of damage we accrue will go to Romelia's power. There are the occasions where if you only focus on the vampire combo, you can get Romelia to do like 900 to 1000 damage in a single turn. I actually want to take damage just to help Romelia's strength go up. Not like the puppets are capable of causing s such atrocity. Hmm, Flandre. Recover 20% of damage dealt. Okay. Life Leech. Now let's see, what does she have? Kanako is not bad. Aiki is scary if she's leveled up. For some reason she decided not to level up herself. That means she's actually a very caring person about other people. She cares more about helping out the other teammates instead of herself. That, that's good to know. We're not really fighting the enemy here. Oh, but this is it. We're pretty much equal. We need more power. I run. Oh yep, there's Kaguya. I don't think we're gonna get another point in time. We're gonna have to wait another turn to get the Lenarian bonus. Unfortunately. Is getting bonuses now because of Vermilion Flandre. The puppets don't matter, it's a waste of time to fight them. They merely want you to build up your power before you face off. Another Kaguya. There aren't any other Lenarians. Get an immediate level 2 Ryzen. Somehow we're accumulating a bunch of gold out of nowhere, not sure how that's happening. There are technically still bugs in this game a bit. Ike's apparently saved up the 36 gems. Both our damages are practically fatal. What's Kaguya's level? Mine. Flan. I didn't notice that. Flandre actually reduces opponent's highest battle point character. So if we do go up against Ike, whichever one is strongest will be severely weakened. I wonder if the bonuses stack. I'd like to think they would. Could be 30% of a decrease. Let's find out. Practically a stalemate. Well, doesn't matter. 
too many turns have passed. We win. 